So this was originally just going to be a video of me, like, uh, to like show a friend being unlisted, but I guess it's kind of like a tied over thing while I try to get Dream Team and Splatoon back on track. Uh, so the thing is with both the finale of the story for Splatoon and Dream Team, my noise gate was way too much. So I have to re-record the commentary for quite a few episodes or completely re-record the videos. Apparently, this super world is full of Kaizo levels. I'm just going to do one level and see how far I can get into it. So, let's, uh, let's get going with this one. What? Okay. Uh, spin jump? No. That doesn't give me enough height. And even if it did, spin jumps instantly kill Monty Moles. Well, they instantly kill enemies. Oh, there's 10 coins up here. Okay. Now I... Spin jump does not give you height unless you bounce off something. Hey! I see what the coins are there for. You listen to what the coins tell you. Oh, Zed. Nice. I saw 10 coins here. Since this is a Kaizo level, I've seen like Kaizo ROM hacks and stuff, and they have infinite lives in them, Super Mario Maker does not. Oh. Hey. Nice. First try on that one. A Kaizo level with checkpoints. You never thunk, you see the day. I'm wasting time here, I don't know how long this level is. Shell jump! <gasps> I actually performed a shell jump! <laughs> that was the first time I've ever performed a shell jump! Yeah, I get the coin was there. But, oh. Nice. Collect the coins as we go along. Um... This is precarious. I wonder if he can actually get up into where those clouds are. That would be, uh... That would be pretty fun. Just breaking the level like that. Zed. Ooh! Hell yeah. Hmm. That just looks a lot like jumping, so... Yep. That was enough height. Sorry, level creator, you, uh... You kind of made it easy to cheese with that. Oh, no. No. Oh. What am I doing? What is this? Holy shit. What is this? Ooh, more coins. Don't mind if I do. Get life back. Get the checkpoint before I do anything stupid. Um, definitely not spin jump because that will kill both the Koopa and the Monty Mole. Um, I need to hit that switch. I don't know what, but for something. Oh! Okay. Maybe I jump on the Koopa, then the Monty Mole. And then the Cooper again, and then throw it up. No, that... No! You never know what's below you in a Kaizo. Um... What to do, what to do... No, I just end up dying either way. Maybe I... Do this, then this, then this. And then this? No. And definitely don't fall down below. The spikes. What do I do with you? Hmm? Pondering the Koopa shell. Maybe I just blaze it and just... 
No. <laughs> Definitely not. What do I do? <laughs> That's the thing with Kaizo levels, I don't know what to do. Yes, grab the shell and fall off. That is the best Kaizo strategy. So it looks like I've got to hit the on-off blocks multiple times while not falling, staying in the air while I just try to maneuver myself around. I'm trying to make sense of everything here. What do I do? Definitely not that. Alley-oop. Into death. Oh! Okay. I think I figured it out. So, I jump on the Koopa, making sure it goes to that coin, grab the shell while also bouncing off the Monty Mole, throw the shell up, and then bounce off the Koopa again. I guess I'm also not supposed to catch the shell, because the blocks are there and as soon as they appear, uh, the Koopa shell will just get obliterated. Um, You know, hey, Mr. Cooper Shell, we meet again, question mark? I explained what I was going to do, but then proceeded to not do it. <laughs> Fuck. 36 lives. Jump on the Koopa. Die. <laughs> oh. Hey, thanks for the one-ups, maker. Okay, what do I do here? Um, I don't think I can hit those with a jump. There is an arrow there pointing. Ah, there's a shell and an arrow pointing back. Uh, I don't think that was supposed to kill the wiggler. Okay. Don't kill the wiggler this time. Oh. I shouldn't have touched the control stick. Get the shell. Bounce off the wigglers. Bounce. Bounce. And then, yep. Okay. <gasps> GG! Hell yeah! Woohoo! You're welcome. That... <laughs> was... dreadful? But also very fun? That was actually the first time that I've attempted... question mark... a Kaizo level in Mario Maker. With Super Mario World nonetheless. And it took me seven minutes to beat. <laughs> ah! Okay. Alright. That was great. What's the next level? I'm definitely not going to do the full thing. But it looks like there's a poison mushroom there. So, let's, uh, let's see what it is. Part 13. So we skip three levels. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Shell jumps galore! Okay, yeah, there, there's this thing there. No! <laughs> oh! Okay, that's, uh... That's gonna do it for this little, uh, filler content, uh, while I, uh, get stuff re-recorded for Mario Luigi Dream Team and Splatoon. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. And I'll see you back for many things that were in the April update. Oh my god.